All animal, bird, fish, or egg-derived protein plays a role in the formation and promotion of cancer. But the most potent so far is casein. Howard Lyman is a fourth-generation cattle rancher. In 1979, he developed cancer in the spinal cord. Today, Howard Lyman goes around the world talking about the harmful effects of animal protein. The first thing I recommend is to take out dairy. Remember, I was born on a dairy farm, the largest dairy farm in the state of Montana. I believe that milk was nature's most perfect food. I believe that milk did a body good. But today I say the first thing you should take out of your diet is dairy. And the reason, 87% of the protein in dairy products is a thing called casein. Casein has been shown in laboratory tests to stimulate the growth of cancerous cells just like pouring gasoline on a fire. Casein is even more concentrated in dairy such as cheese and skim milk from cows, goats and sheep. The connection between dairy intake and cancer is particularly strong for prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is now the most commonly diagnosed cancer among men in the United States and other Western countries. It represents about 25% of all cancers. People who consume more animal protein have more so-called insulin-like growth factor, IGF or IGF-1, and they have more of this uh, hormone when they're consuming animal protein sub-based foods. And that, in turn, is consistent with increases in risk for prostate cancer. We know that insulin growth factor tends to turn on cancers. Those uh, findings originated with a comparison of, let's say, vegetarians with vegans. Uh, vegetarians, 90% uh, of whom are consuming substantial amounts of dairy products and eggs, still getting a lot of animal protein. They haven't gained that much by just avoiding meat and then still consuming a lot of dairy and eggs. In terms of animal protein, they're still consuming a lot of animal protein. It just comes in a different form. And those people, the vegetarians, tend to have higher levels of this insulin-like growth factor than do the vegans who, of course, are avoiding all animal proteins and getting less prostate cancer, by the way. As many as 50% of all men over 70 years have a silent form of prostate cancer which is not yet causing problems. Studies have revealed that men with the highest dairy intakes had about double the risk of total prostate cancer and up to four times the risk of fatal or metastatic whole body spread of prostate cancer compared to low dairy food consumers.